In this video, we're going to learn how to install the Atom IDE, and that is one of the premier development CSS IDEs. So let's go to Google, and we're just going to type in Atom IDE, and we're going to go ahead and open up the web page. And then you're just going to select Download here, and I will provide the link to this in the description of the video, the website. And then you just have to let it download. It's about 180 megs, so that'll take a few minutes, depending on the speed of your connection. Okay, and once it's downloaded, go ahead and open up your download folder. And then we're going to go ahead and install it. And this will take a few minutes depending on the speed of your computer. Okay, so once the install is done, you'll have this default screen here where you could go ahead and start creating your HTML and CSS documents. For this video, I already have an existing project, so I'm going to go ahead and add that project folder here. And then you just select your folder. In this case, it's 01. So I select that. And notice how it automatically imports all of my web-related documents. In this case, my index.html and my style sheet. And just take a look how nice this is. All the colors are great. This is easy to read, easy to edit. I personally prefer dark backgrounds, so this is really key for me in terms of this app. That's one of the nice features right out of the box. It has a nice dark background. So this is a very nice default right out of the box. But the power of Atom lies in its packages. The packages are really what make Atom one of the best IDEs out there. So what we're going to do in this video is add a few of my favorites, and then in the next video, we'll take a look at several more. But let's go ahead and install our first package. So you go to File, and then you want to go to Settings. And then what you're going to do is go to Install, and you're going to type in the package you're looking for. In this case, we want the Atom Live Server. And there it is. So you go ahead and install it and that will take some time. Now, once it's installed, you see you have a couple of options here. You can uninstall it or you can disable it, but obviously we don't wanna do that. So let's go ahead and close settings out. Now, in order to launch the package, you go all the way to the bottom here and you can see we have the Atom Live Server. It may be at the top depending on when you installed it. So let's go ahead and start the server and you'll see it'll automatically open up and assign it to port 3000. And this is just a loopback address, so this isn't going out to the internet or anything completely safe. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's minimize this. And just rearrange this a little bit. And actually, let's go ahead and just move this over a little bit here. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. Now, here's why this is very, very nice. Let's go ahead and change this box one, and let's just change that to box two. Let's hit save. And there you can see. Look at that. It reflects it right away. But the problem is, is what if you want something a little bit more active? Because it's kind of a pain to have to go hit save every time, right? Or you could optionally hit control S. We want to actually see changes reflected as we're making them over here. And this is where you can install a secondary package. It kind of goes hand in hand with the server. So let's go ahead and install another package. And let's just maximize this for a minute. And let's go back to install. And then what you're going to do is type in auto save. You can see I already have it installed. Now, if you don't, just go ahead and click the install for it. But I've already got it installed. I'm just going to go ahead and re-enable it. And then let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's go back here. And actually, you know what? Let's go back to the configuration for that for one minute. I just wanted to show you something. So we'll maximize this again. We'll go to install, type in autosave. So basically, there's some settings here. The main one is if you want to change this milliseconds in terms of how long it takes before the editor makes a save, the default is 500 milliseconds. Now, that's perfect for me. I actually like that rate of speed. But if you wanted to increase this, you could. You could increase it to, you know, 5,000, whatever you want. But again, I think the default works perfectly. But again, you may want to play around with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this again. And now let's go ahead and change this box to box 77. And look what happens. Right away, the change is reflected in the browser. So this is really great if you want to do active development. If we go back to our style sheet, let's say we wanted to change box one to orange. And there you can see the changes are reflected right away. So you can see how the packages that you can install with Atom make the IDE that much better. And again, you can always go to packages and toggle these things over here. You can disable it and then you can re-enable it right away. That's really nice. Same thing with the Atom Live server. You could disable that and stop it if you wanted to. Okay, that's going to do it. And as always, thanks for watching.